Hello everyone! Today is March 27th of 2018 and it's the perfect day to reboot this sailing YouTube channel. Now some of you might be like, sailing YouTube channel? But you're not on a boat, you're in an apartment. Yep, that's right. So if you want to know why I'm in this apartment and not on a sailboat, let me take you outside first. My name is Sophie, I'm French and I moved here eight years ago. <laughs> and if it's pretty sunny and nice right now, it's so cold. I have now been sitting for 20 minutes on this rock and my ass is frozen. I think you understand my predicament here. This is the story of how Ryan and I quit our jobs bought a boat and in two months are leaving Stockholm to go sail the world. It all starts in 2015 and it involves Tinder, a goose and bored panda. At the time I was newly single and I killed my time on Tinder. Now I think it's important to mention for the purpose of this story that I was not on Tinder to look for a serious relationship. Uh, who is? I was on Tinder because it was seriously entertaining. Ryan and I exchanged a few texts. We went to a trashy pub. We ended up really drunk. And the rest is history. In May 2015, Ryan and I were both training for Stockholm Marathon. Ryan was in the middle of his last long run, a 30K, when he met the goose. Now what happened is that Ryan was running. He encountered a group of goose that were right in front of him. The goose had babies and one of the geese protected the babies and attacked Ryan. The goose went flying. <laughs> Ryan fell, landed on his arm, dislocated his shoulder and broke some bones. Not a fun time. So Ryan spends his days at home because he cannot go to work, he's injured. And this is where the third element of the story comes into play. Bored Panda. For those of you who are not familiar with this fantastic piece of internet, Board Panda is a website that gathers all kind of articles and videos. And that particular day, Ryan stumbled upon an article that told the story of how a couple our age sold everything they owned, bought a sailboat, and went and sailed the world for five years. And so here we are, sitting and reading at these people's history, looking at their lives and be like, wow, that looks really cool. And it's totally something that I would see myself doing. Now, the other thing that you do at the same time is to take a good look at your life. You cannot help but wonder how your life would look if you were really doing what you love. And that was a turning point for both Ryan and I. But first things first, in order for us to even consider buying a boat and go sail the world, we had to learn how to sail. So we found this sailing school down in Gibraltar where tuition was given in English and we decided to make it a two weeks class, super intense, during which we would be living on the boat and learning how to sail with our instructor. It's now January 2016 and we're in Gibraltar and we're on a boat for the first time. Now, things didn't go really smooth at once. My first night on the boat, I think I woke up in the middle of the night and the next morning I had some pain in my eye and sure as hell I had woken up and banged my head on the ceiling of the cabin 
and went for the rest of the two weeks with a big black eye. At the end of our course, we were absolutely convinced that this sailing project was something that we should definitely pursue. And one thing that we had agreed on was that we were not going to buy a boat until the end of our course. We thought that buying a boat was going to be a simple process. Like, you go on Craigslist, you browse some ads, you decide which one you get, you place an offer and you buy the boat, right? Turns out it was a little more complicated than that. We put offers on total five boats before buying Polar Seal. At the end of the process, we found a boat that was located in Southampton in the UK. That was exactly what we were looking for. It was a Beneteau Ocean is 40 from 2007. It was a two cabins layout. It had a heater, a bow thruster, had very few engine hours. We contacted the broker, we put an offer, and in March 2016, we flew to Southampton to check her out, have her surveyed, and make a decision. It's now May 2016 and we're about to get our dream boat delivered to our marina. We are so, so over the moon about it. <laughs> Granted that we had no idea what we were doing. And one of the first things that happened when Polar Seal arrived is that she had a big bird nest stuck into the boom. And that was the first incident out of many, many, many incidents that any boat owner on this planet has to go through on a daily basis. We didn't expect it to be easy, but it's one thing to imagine that something is gonna be hard and it's another thing to actually leave it. At the end of our first season in October 2016, we didn't really know how we felt about sailing. And so instead of taking off right away, we waited another season to see how we felt about our skills and our level of comfort taking the boat out on a long trip. We launched Polar Seal in May 2017 and our second sailing season was a dream compared to our first one. We're gonna go down to Kiel, take the Kiel Canal. We're gonna sail all the way to the UK. We are going to sail to my hometown. We're gonna cross Biscay all the way to Coronia. We're gonna go to southern Portugal and all the way back to Gibraltar where it all started. We assumed that we were gonna be in Gibraltar by August, September. And from then, we make a decision. Do we go into the Med or do we want to cross the Atlantic? So nothing is carved in stone, everything can happen, we don't even know where we go, but the most important is that right now 
Life has never been so fun. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want to get a notification each time we upload a new video, consider subscribing and I will catch you in the next episode.